salutations friends welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a random haul video over the past few weeks i've gotten a lot of new stuff a lot of old stuff like repurchasing things um i did a blog post i've done some review videos and some of the stuff i've gotten the past few weeks some of the stuff i haven't shared with you and i figured i would just kind of throw everything together um, some of the stuff, not all of the stuff, to share with you what I've gotten and why I've gotten it. Um, just for a quick little kind of like unthemed uh, haul post. It's not like a Sephora haul or a drugstore haul. It's just from all over random places. Um, and I'll probably have another haul post next week about some stuff I'm getting from a Korean company. So I'll have a Korean beauty and makeup, um, blog post then. But I figured I would just share some of these items with you guys, and if you had any questions on them, I could talk more about them, because some of these I've been using for a little bit. Alright, let's go. Alright, first I'm going to start off with some of the things I've already shared, um, just so that way I can get them out of the way. I got the, I have them all kind of here, do do do. These are the Artist Rouge um, lipsticks from Makeup Forever that I got in my Influencer Vox box. Um, I still absolutely love these. I've been wearing them for the past few days. They're really great. They're really nice. I am working on a better review. I will have that up next week. But the colors I got were, this is color uh, C211. This is color C502, which is this really pretty kind of like, like dusty violet. And last but not least is C404. And this is kind of like um, a cool tone red, which is actually really nice. Anyway, again, I didn't purchase these. They were given to me to sample and review. But I do really like them, and they are really, really nice. Um, another product, or two other products that I've actually reviewed recently and just wanted to briefly touch on as part of this haul video. I will link all, if I have reviewed any of these products or talked about them, I will link them below. Um, is the Match Co. Foundation. This is, again, the foundation where you use your iPhone app to give you a perfect skin match. Again, I really, really like it. Um, it's really nice and it's really fun. Um, again, the color is just a tad bit off, but I think that was the lighting. Um, when I was doing the calibration for my skin tone, it was weird light. And then the review video I just put up um, about the Hourglass um, Vanish Seamless Foundation Stick and their foundation brush. So all of those reviews and unboxing videos will be linked below. Next up is another foundation that I ran out of and I just bought because I was at the drugstore and it's the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 uh, Foundation. I get this in 01 Creamy Vanilla. Um, this color is a little dark for me so I like to mix this with my uh, Makeup Forever HD foundation. Um, and it gives me a really nice match and really beautiful coverage. I like to mix this with the Makeup Forever when I'm looking for more of a full coverage day and not medium coverage day. Um, so this will give me a little bit more coverage and it blends really nicely when I mix it with the Makeup Forever foundation. So I just picked up another one of these because I just ran out a few weeks ago, but I just hadn't bought it because I haven't been to the drugstore in a while. So I was there, I picked it up. Next up is this perfume I got. Um, like I said before, I love perfume. I'm a perfume hoarder and collector, and I have a nice collection of them. Um, but I, one of my favorite scents ever is tuberose. I absolutely love it. It's really hard to find. And I had heard amazing things about this. This is Pink Innocencia from Sonia Kashik. And this Eau de Toilette was actually sold out for the longest time. Now I had smelled the hand lotion and the body lotion and I was like, oh that smells so good. But I don't really wear scented body lotions, I just kind of wear like a moisturizer. And so I really wanted to find the perfume. And so finally they had restocked it after I'd been looking for months. And I got it. And it smells, it's got um, tuberose, amber, and magnolia. It's very sweet. Tuberose is a sickeningly sweet smell. It's like a sweet floral, like candy smell, but it's just so nice and I love it. And I think the touch of amber in here kind of brings everything together and tones the sweetness down just a tad. It's really good. So I was really happy to get my hands on this. So yeah. Um, and this is again from Sonia Kashuk and it's a really pretty bottle. I mean, I like it. I love it. 
Okay, so I posted in an empties video that I ran out of um, this guy, the Zero Sebum from Etude House, so obviously I bought more. I also bought, because they didn't have this available when I was getting it online, so I had to get it from another place, which took a few weeks to get. In the meantime, because I absolutely love that, I bought some Innisfree Zero Sebum Mineral Powder, and I also bought the uh, Maybelline New Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. So these are the two ones I bought in the interim, waiting for this. I am going to do a full review on all of the different setting powders that I use, um, the higher end ones that I use and the lower um, ones that I use and my recommendations. So I'm not gonna give you too much about what I think or what I don't think, but I will I'm just say really briefly, this is still my favorite, just so you know. But anyway, this is from Innisfree. This is the No uh, Sebum Mineral Powder, and this is the one from Maybelline, the Master Fix. And then I also re-got I got more liquid lipsticks. I know, because I can never stop. I actually, when I did my, um, my Makeup Monsters haul, my recent one, I thought I was missing some. I was like, I know... I said I was going to get three, but I thought I had bought more, like, directly after, like, a few days after. Um, but I didn't remember it. So, actually, I got another package of Makeup Monster Liquid Lipsticks in. I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. I ordered those, too. Um, so, this is um, Hit the Dirt, which is what I'm wearing now. And this is um, Heavy Artillery, and I'll swatch these for you guys. Obviously, I'm wearing Hit the Dirt now. This is really pretty. It's this kind of, like, cool tone brown. It's really pretty. Um, and I really, really like it, and I've been, you know, wearing it all day, and I've been eating and drinking and petting cats. Uh, so that's Hit the Dirt. And then Heavy Artillery is actually one that I just kind of got on a whim. It's not a color I normally wear. I don't really wear super dark, um, lipsticks that are, like, gray or black. I like really dark berry lipsticks and red lipsticks, but never something that's like gray, but this one just looks so fun. And again, this is Heavy Artillery, and it's that one right there, and it looks really cool on. I really like it. So that was just kind of like a fun, different purchase than something I bought recently. Um, so these are for Makeup Monsters, and I've worn them both, and they're really good, so obviously I love them. And then the next one is from Jeffree Star. This is Watermelon Soda. This is the only one I wanted out of his, um, his new summer launch. All the colors were really pretty. It's just they're not colors I would generally wear. This is the only color that looked like I would wear. So I will um, really quickly swatch this for you. I will just give you my thoughts right now. I was going to do a whole review on it, but I only got one color. I do not like it. Um... I love the color. The color is beautiful. It smells really nice. And when I'm comparing this, if I have any thoughts on it, I am comparing this to his other liquid lipsticks. I'm not going to compare it to Makeup Monsters. I'm not going to compare it to Kat Von D or Smashbox or any other liquid lip lipstick company I got. Because when I purchased this, I was expecting the quality of other Jeffrey liquid lipsticks. Color-wise, it's freaking gorgeous. It looks beautiful on. However, this doesn't dry. It's streaky and thin, and it stays tacky. Like, it doesn't dry completely, and I just, I've tried putting this in my fridge. You know, I've tried everything to try and get this formula to work for me. So, I am not happy with the way that it wears. Um, it does look beautiful, and I do wear it. Do not get me wrong. It is a really pretty color. But the quality of the formula is not the same as his other liquid lipsticks. So I'm not too happy with it, but I do wear it because it's pretty. It's just, it gets everywhere. It's, you know, it's, but it's pretty. That's the problem. It's really pretty. So not too happy with this guy right here. Pretty color, nice smell, a little streaky and doesn't dry. It's not as good as his other liquid lipsticks. I'm and just comparing them to his other liquid lipsticks, which I think are phenomenal. But that one, four more things. Okay, this one, Nordstrom just had their anniversary sale, and I generally go crazy during special sales like that, especially when they have beauty offers, because you can generally get really nice stuff for really cheap or really limited edition palettes. 
That being said, I was not too impressed or inspired by their beauty offers this year. I just, nothing seemed like it was a great deal. Nothing seemed like it was like I couldn't live without it. But there was one thing that I did like that I did end up getting, and that's from NARS. And this is the Nordstrom's Best Cheek Palette. I don't think this is available anymore. I think this was only available during that time. It is basically just um, four of their more popular um, cheek products. Um, I got this. It has Orgasm, Deep Throat. I think this is Desire and Luster, I do believe. Yeah, so Orgasm, Deep Throat, Desire, and Luster. Um, and then this one right here is their uh, Laguna Bronzing Powder, and this is their Albatross Highlighting Powder. Now, I've been wearing this um, for since I got it a few days ago. I really like it. The only thing I'm sad about is the fact that it has Orgasm in it because I already have Orgasm. But I go through Orgasm, I'm going to say that word 50,000 times, Orgasm, Orgasm, Orgasm. orgasm. I'm like a Pokemon. Weird, kinky Pokemon. Anyway, um, I go through it so much that I was just like, I don't mind if I have a palette that has it in there because I go through it. I go through one in like four or five months. I wear it so much. So yeah, I wear it that much. It's crazy. So I was like, all right, that's fine. And the other colors I didn't have, I've purchased Deep Throat before. <laughs> Gosh, or NARS has some great names. Um, and I really liked it. It's just like I I think it went bad, like it was old, like I got it years ago. And then I just like went through this purge of my makeup that I thought wasn't good anymore, that I didn't wear very often. That was one of the things that I purged. Um, so I am happy to have it again. And I really like it. The um, Laguna bronzer is freakishly phenomenal. And I absolutely love Albatross, the highlighting powder. So I am ridiculously happy with this palette. I'm glad I picked it up. It's really nice. I love the packaging. I just love NARS's packaging, except it gets dirty so quickly. I don't know. There's just something really sleek and sexy about it. So I do love this palette, and I am glad I got it. I was thinking about getting some of their other um, things during the sale, but I was like, I have a lot of NARS stuff already. I don't need more, but this was something that I didn't have that would be really good for travel or if I'm, you know, going to an art show or something and I need to put on makeup. This has a highlighter, a bronzer, um, and some really flattering blushes in different shades. So I figured this would probably be something that I would get a lot of use out of. And so far I've been reaching for this every day. So I really, really love it. Next up, makeup-wise, are two powders. I've gotten a lot of powder foundation recently. I've just been on this kick where I've just been buying different ones to see what I like. I have ones that obviously I love more than anything, but these are two new ones that I've gotten uh, that I've purchased. This is Smashbox. I believe this is their Halo powder. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, but basically what it is, is I can show you actually if you're unfamiliar with these powders. Um, it's like, it's like a loose, it's like a powder, like a pressed powder. And then when you turn this, you kind of cut it. So it makes fresh powder for you. And now that I did that, I'm not going to use it. So it's just going to sit in here and I'll wear that tomorrow. But um, I can pull some out. This is the lightest shade. I wanted to try this. I've heard really good things about this. I'm going to put this down over here. Um, see if you can see. I mean, I, I know powder foundation samples is the most exciting thing to swatch, but I do like the idea of something like that. It seemed really fun, maybe a little gimmicky, but I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> so I ended up getting that and I am excited to use it. Um, and then another thing I got was this a little bit more luxury. I'm going to butcher the name because it's a Korean name and I'm really, if I have one superpower, it's butchering Korean brand names. I don't know what my superhero name would be, but I would be the worst superhero ever. Um, it's from Sulwasu, and this is their Even Fair Smoothing Powder Foundation. Now, this had mixed reviews. Some people absolutely loved it. Some people, oh, excuse me, some people loved it. Some people hated it. Um, the thing is, is I really like Sulwasu. I've used their foundations before, their cushion foundations before. I really like their products. Um, and so I decided to give this a whirl. Again, this wasn't cheap definitely not cheap so this is definitely on the higher and luxury price of what I paid for it actually out of everything I've shown you I think this is the most expensive thing and that's saying something <laughs> anyway um 
it's just like, I, again, I haven't used it yet. I just got this, um, but it is this kind of like, I got it a little bit warmer um, because I've gotten a lot of really light foundations and I've got some perfectly matched um, powder foundations. And sometimes if I'm going for a natural look, and I don't feel like bronzing or contouring. I like to have a powder foundation that's just a little bit warmer and just add it right here and over here. Um, and then I'll just throw on like a little bit of either just a touch of bronzer or blush and mascara. It's a really low key natural day for me when I do that. And I thought this one might be nice to try for that um, look. So I figured that might work really well. We'll see, I don't know. But anyway, it's a cute, it's a very elegant compact. It's really sexy and sleek. Okay, so speaking of sexy and sleek, I'm going to show you the other thing, the last thing that I bought. I bought puppy cat pajamas. <laughs> They're the Kigirumis. I'm bad at pronouncing Japanese names, which is stupid because I used to speak Japanese. Um, but they're like the full one onesie. <laughs> pajamas and I got the puppy cat ones. Cute little eggplants inside. Isn't this exciting? I actually like, I love these things. Like I, okay. So I know I talked about in like one of my vlogs is like being an adult means you get to decide what that is. And this kind of epitones it for me. I am an adult. I have very expensive tastes when it comes to like handbags, shoes, jewelry, and beauty items. Like I am like a designer. I don't want to say like, I don't need it to be designer. I just really appreciate designer things and nice luxury things. And then I also appreciate like toys and cartoons. Um, so that being said, um, I have a very, my fashion is Aside from my handbags, my jewelry, and my shoes, my fashion is very much comfortable and easy. Um, a lot of the times when I'm painting or I'm working in art shows or I've just got projects I'm doing, I don't have time to wear appropriate attire. So I wear clothes that I can go from working on the computer customer service, making glassware, painting, and then I can go out and run errands and not feel embarrassed by. So it's very much like kind of like um, higher end casual. You guys only see me here. So what I'll do is I'll wear a lot of really nice like flannel or button down shirts with jeans and boots. Um, it works very much for the area I am in. It's very much in style. However, my pajamas <laughs> are far, far from casual or stylish. I have two sets of the dinosaur ones of these that I sleep in. No joke. My husband is just like, where, where did this come from? You. <laughs> because I'm like this 30 year old woman wearing like a full dinosaur costume to sleep because it's comfortable and I'm a dinosaur. Um, and again, I'm an adult, so I get to decide what that means. And I, you know, these things aren't cheap. That wasn't cheap. But anyway, I actually got that for a very specific video and that video will be ready in a week or two. I need to get the supplies for it, but that was one of the things for it. So that will be a fun video and my husband might actually make an appearance for it. I know, right? You guys probably don't care. Um, but I'm excited about that video. I'm really excited about that video. Um, and I got that specifically. And when that video releases and you see what it is, you'll understand why I needed that. So anyway, yeah, that's my haul stuff. <laughs> Beauty items, hair, and giant puppy cat costume. That's pretty much my life. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's just a random haul. I like, again, I'm getting a lot of stuff from a Korean company that I'm expecting in the next week or two. I think I'm getting it like sometime next week. So I will have a haul video up for that just because uh, a lot of people are really interested in Korean beauty and I love Korean beauty. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's really silly. It's a random haul video, but I don't like to do a lot of haul videos because I think that sometimes they can be a little tacky when like every other video is a haul video. So I kind of wanted to put everything together into one and then I will have a haul video about one other package I'm expecting because I want to get into more details as to why I purchased those things. 
So do expect that in the future, sometime next week or the week after. But I did want to share this stuff with you. Again, I have reviewed some of it and other things I've just been excited to use and they're different and fun. And, you know, those puppy cat pajamas are just, I'm super duper excited for it. Anyway, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments on any of the stuff that you see, if you want any specific reviews on anything, any of the products that I have shown you that you probably don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm bleh. If you want any of, if you want to have a specific review of any of the products that I mentioned um, that have not been reviewed before, let me know below. Again, I have reviews of this. I have review of this. I have reviews of these guys, a review of the brand in general, and just generally, they're always spectacular. Um, if you want a review of anything else, please just let me know below. Um, and if you like content like this and you like me, remember to thumbs it up. That lets me know you like it, so that way I can do more of these. Um, and also, if you would feel so inclined and you like content like this as well, you could also subscribe. I mean, that'd be cool. I put out new videos every Monday through Friday. I'm pretty, pretty good about that. And I also will put them out on the weekends if I have something specifically that I can't wait till Monday to do because I am impatient. So I will always have something for you to watch. Generally, most of it's beauty related, lifestyle related, makeup, skincare, but sometimes I throw in some random stuff. So it's a surprise every time. In any case, if you don't want to, it's fine. I just hope you enjoyed this video. And I also want you guys to know that I hope you are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye.